Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode, we made our way to the Dark Forest, went through the tower over here, and we found the uh, scientist that the dude was after. Also met the gym leader, who we're going to be battling probably this episode. We caught a bunch of Pokemon. We got a regional a Lady Bar and um, Chingling. We also caught Zora, which is hopefully going to help with uh, going forward. So I think the gym leader is going to be Ghost or Dark. But we got like, obviously, two Bug types, got a Fairy type, and uh, we've got a Ghost type as well. So we're lo looking very good. Like, the, the first gym leader should probably get destroyed if they're dark or ghost so uh yeah let's make our way to uh the next area and see what's gonna happen hey yo but being the good ruin maniac that i am i have come to zeppelin steed to research about the history of quintellus in the library i've heard that an ancient artifact has been found in the uh, casca ruins I have to find out about it all right okay gotta say though so far this game's absolutely banging it's so good and we're only like what this is episode three and it's so good already, but um, pesto macaroni is the best macaroni. No one can deny me that. I mean, pesto pasta, very good. Um, but I haven't tried it with Mac, but a nice man it gave me candy the other day. Since then I have been feeling super powerful. I wonder what kind of candy those were. I've been craving for more ever since. Oh no. Oh no. Stay away from that dude, dude. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in this house. Um, yo. So we used to roleplay with Gundana, but she has gotten so into her role as a villain that it is now almost impossible to roleplay with her. Uh, I roleplay solely to predict the dice with my psychic powers. It's my training method. Hey yo, I hate dice. What does everything we play have to do with chance? Oh dude, I hate dice as well. Dice rolls, I am honestly the worst. <laughs> have you been through that forest? People have a lot of respect for it because of all the stories they tell about it. Um, yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Always a statue there, but this town is one of the oldest in Quintellus. It has never been able to be invaded because it's a very inaccessible position. And you've got the dark forest just below. I don't know what's above or to the east, but an ancient basin at Broom with culture and wisdom. Right, uh, let's go grab this. Got a super potion, sweet. Probably should get healed up as well. But people from the surrounding area come here to study in the library. You should stop by. It has a lot of interesting stuff. All right, hopefully some free stuff, because free stuff is best stuff, man. But we'll definitely check it out. Check out everything in this town. And then get our first gym badge. Which, I should be really looking forward to. <laughs> Yo, I was throwing shot puts when I suddenly hit a lady's fur frow on the head. Oh no! <laughs> I love shorts so much that I decided to be one with them. So I've been taking these shorts off for four years now. Four years! Wow. They must be very smelly. <laughs> All right, there's nothing over here. Any like hidden item, maybe? No, anything on the rock? Nope. Okay, let's go check out the east side of town. Oh, yeah, there's the gym. So you're blocking the cave, sorry. Uh, we're preparing for a party. You need to wait a bit. A party in the cave? Okay. Uh, berries can be very useful in battle. Take one. Yeah, let's go. Free stuff. So we're stuck in a puzzle in a game. I shouldn't have spent all the pieces. <laughs> all right, uh, so. Yo, it's Joshua. Guess this is the gym. Well, it's time to arm myself to the teeth. That Gundana isn't gonna know what hit her. Fonzie, you scared me. What are you doing spying on me? I oh, you know, get some intel. Look, here's the first gym we need to kick some ass. I think we're ready for our first challenge. <laughs> Do you wanna test your skills first? All right, Fonzie, it's battling time. All right, bring it on. Bring it on. Also, if there's any like portions of this like video or like future videos that are just like, there's no audio. I mean, obviously I'll be talking, but um, yeah, there's no music then. Yeah, this game got hit with copyright a couple of times, which uh, kind of sucks. Got to remove the audio, but let's just switch to Vavillion. I think we have Gus. You're level 14, okay. That's fine, actually, that's fine. Alright, one more Gus to finish you off. Fantastic. Any Fury Swipes? Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, keep growing the level with buddy. Crow Gunk, uh, we don't have a psychic type move, that'll be so clutch. So Gust it is. Level 16! <laughs> Revenge does nothing. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kinda glad I got this Favillion. Like we only caught it last episode because we needed to beat that Bell Sprout. I caught that Scatterbug, which in the end didn't even really need it, but <laughs> getting this Favillion now has actually been kinda good. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of Comet Punch because the ability, we get more power with the punches. Oh, that was it? Cool. Damn, I did everything right. Did you though? How did this happen? 
Oh, sure, I was ready to face the leader. Anyway. Oh. Don't get depressed, man. Uh, oh, Voltsy. So you're here for Gundana. And you must be Joshua, Johnny's brother, right? Hey, Voltsy, who's this turkey? And how do you know my brother? <laughs> I'll answer everything in order. To start, my name is uh, Paolo, and I'm the one who gave Voltsy their first Pokemon. Second, I know your brother because I have to work with him at the league. You work with my brother? <laughs> That's right. That's not what I came here to talk about. I saw your fight, and I loved it. Well, it wasn't that bad. You're still a little bitter about the defeat, aren't you? It's normal for someone just starting out. <laughs> I was coming to ask if you wanted to train with me for a bit before facing the gym. You have potential, but you still need to polish off your technique. Really? Let's go. What are we waiting for? You look determined. <laughs> Alright, Voltsy, I guess we'll leave you to it. You're going to face the gym, aren't you? So be careful. The first big challenge always tends to get a little crazy. I want to do some training. Anyway, uh, let's go finish exploring the town. Do you want to kick him in the... Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> oh yes. Looks like he dropped something when he flew away. Okay, just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got some mighty powerful kick. I'll tell you anything in the trash. Nope. Oh, Ultra Ball. Nice. Sweet. Uh, hi. Oh, what a backache. Hey, can I have a massage? Uh... Sure, I'm about to kick you up the butt like I did the other guy. <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, um... Hello, I'm the Sharpener. I like to sharpen things. Here. So you can also enjoy the membership of sh Sharpness, Sharpness, Sharpness. Thanks. <laughs> sharpness, Sharpness, Sharpness. What a name. But this here to my right is the library. It contains a lot of information about the history of Quintellus. It wouldn't hurt to have a look at it. You're alright, let's go have a look. So we're going to move the mic a little bit. There you go. Point towards me. But good morning, uh, here you can read as much as you want. Alright, will do. Usually you have to come here to read quietly. It's usually very noisy at home. I can't read any books at the moment. In this library there are many books about the history of Quintellus. If you are interested, I think you can find some upstairs. Oh, upstairs, eh? I'm on it, boss. Oh, maybe here? Yeah. It's a picture book for children. Do you want to read it? Sure. Turn the pages, but you only look at the drawings. It seems to be about a kind of humanoid mouse that travels to a fantasy world. Get the feeling that some of the pages have strange smells. Do you want to try smelling on the pages? Sure. Ooh, pure incense. What a pleasant smell. Well, maybe it's time to put the book down. Okay, a uh, book about cooking. Recipe to prepare Oreo milkshake. How do you do it? How do you make it? Listen, listen. Oh, there's more pages. Okay. So three and a half Oreo cookies, four scoops of white chocolate ice cream, 200 milliliters of liquid cream, and 300 milliliters of milk. Sounds kind of good, honestly. Uh, during the period from 424 to 428, the city of Zeppelin was uh, besieged by the uh, Casca Empire. Wait, I keep forgetting, you got to flip the pages, don't you? So Casca's empire extended over the entire Emerald Desert region. His empire would encompass the uh, territory we know today as the Emerald Desert, Bengal City, and the now abandoned uh, YMCA. Casca, uh, known as the Insatiable One, decided to lay siege to Zeppelin for four years. Zeppelin was led by Gundam, the strategist. The newspapers say that Gundam was related to black magic. Gundam drew up numerous defense plans in Dark Tower. These plans were effective and stopped Casca's uh, advance. So Casca uh, had to withdraw. This meant his first defeat in battle and with it, the end of his mandate. Casca uh, saw this as the beginning of the decline of his power and decided to leave his post. Today it is buried in the ruins of Brando, Nova Route 5. Ooh, okay, gotta try to remember that. Route 5, but chapter 1, clamp pearls. Clamp pearls use their penis for both mating and killing. It strikes with a force similar to that of a 46 caliber pistol. Okay, they're hermaphrodites, and when they meet, they fight with each other to penetrate each other, and uh, the one that is penetrated gives birth to the other. At the time of delivery, they divide by mitosis and generate a clamp pearl, exactly like the parent. It is an impressive and unique event in nature. End of chapter one. Jotaro Kujo. Okay. It's a diary. We're reading someone's diary. So, uh, the, what, 19th of February, 1986. I've started a new investigation. According to ancient legends, there is a Pokemon capable of moving through different worlds. According to this myth, there are worlds parallel and different from ours. If this were true, it could be a totally revolutionary discovery. The 27th of February. I've obtained information about the Pokemon that is capable of moving through interdimensional portals. Ancient writings tell of a being that would enter the grounds of the 
uh, Cusca Empire to steal various valuables. It's got to be Hooper, right? Obviously, but apparently, this is all the yeah, because the Hooper ring. But apparently, uh, this being was able to go unnoticed and enter the Emperor's quarters a large number of times. However, Emperor Cusca managed to communicate with the Pokemon, yeah, whom they named Hooper, to avoid a possible disaster caused by the powers of this entity. The shamans of the Empire enclosed its true power inside an object known as the Punishment Vessel. The creature was able to open portals that made it possible to invade numerous territories that existed expanding the Empire. The writings speak of places that are still totally unknown to us, such as Corio, Atlantis, and uh, sorry, or uh, Mercia. However, it seems that a few years later, the em Emperor decided to leave his post and nothing more has heard about Hooper. So the uh, 10th of March, Oh, that was two days ago, it's 12th March, I thought today was the 10th. I have not managed to find anything more about Hooper, however I have discovered that this is not the only Pokemon related to other dimensions. There are legends from Sinnoh that tell of a Pokemon that was banished to a parallel dimension, Giratina. Although it does not fully confirm the existence of parallel worlds, it makes me suspect that they may be real. So the 27th of March, I think I finally hit the nail on the head. Uh, several ancient cultures that speak of the Bronzong as a being that brought good harvests. They brought rains up opening portals to another world, and this implies that the Bronzong seem to hide some sort of connection with other worlds parallel to our own. Without a doubt, this seems to be the track that is uh, most within my reach. I'll begin the research by looking at the hidden potential of the Bronzong. Uh, Wolf Fang Ostain. Okay. Is that all the books? So there's one of an item inside this book. Don't want it. Do yeah, I'll take it free stuff. Yeah. Silver powder. Okay, so that's the library explored. Got some useful information. So now let's go and uh, get our first gym badge, which, uh, like I said, should be, should be pretty easy. Hey, oh, so good morning, young challenger. Welcome to Gundana's gym, queen of the parallel world. I'm the referee, your right hand in all the gyms in the region. Giving advice is my passion. Well, actually, I want to be a policeman, but my dreams were dashed a long time ago. That's another topic. The trainers at this gym specialize in ghost types. Yeah, ghosts are gonna be easy then. Also, Gondana loves role-playing games. She's even gotten so into character that she now truly believes she's an assassin from hell. The trainers in this gym will roll a die before each match that will produce random effects. Oh no. Take this, it's on the house. Okay. Right, let's see what you're gonna roll. So let's roll the die. A free paralysis, no. I assume it's all like programmed to be, you know, Always paralysis here, but everyone's paralyzed. Great. Oh, I didn't go for scratch. What? Oh, yeah, we got pursuit. That just went really quick. And yeah, we got flinched. Great. Pursuit. There we go. A little bit of damage. Uh, that's actually not looking too good. Uh, let's ask her for a potion. We might have to get. Well, I'm going to have to get fully healed off this, aren't I? Because of the paralysis. No, oh, come on. This gym just got a lot harder because of the paralysis. Ah, oh, so annoying. Alright, Salonaut. Uh, Bubble Beam. Nice. We might evolve actually right now. Sweet. Come on. B16. Because having the evolution will be very clutch. Find out in a second. And... No, it's not 16. Alright, so let me go get healed up. Because that really sucks, all that paralysis. Alright, uh, yeah, the Pokemon said it was over this way. Alright. Because I usually like it when it's, like, daytime in Pokemon games, but this game actually looks kind of nice at night. And I think this town just, I don't know, with the gym being ghost-type, kind of suits it being nighttime. Alright, let's go. What time is it in the game? It's 8.15am. Okay. Wait, was that dude there before? I feel like... You weren't here before. Looks like our friend has been flown out. Uh, who would have that much leg strength? <laughs> okay then. Um, right, yeah, let's continue on to the piano. On the piano there is a note written. If you want to challenge the leader, you must play the notes in the correct order. So you're gonna have to look around the gym for the password. Okay. It's not the bits of paper, is it? Got some dust skulls, okay. Uh, is this it? It's a note. There's the note. Uh, first note is F.A. Yo! So let's roll the die. A four. Time to set a random climate. Now get ready for battle. It's raining, that's fine. I'm gonna paralyze or anything, that's... It's all good. Alright, pursuit. 
Really wish Pursuit did a little bit more damage, you know. Nightshade is doing quite a bit. Ah, oh, Disabling. I've got to switch out now because I can't hit it. I mean, with the rain, at least Bubble Beam could do a little bit more damage. Uh, bubble Beam. Here I was thinking this gym was going to be super easy, but no, it's actually giving me a little bit of trouble. Don't like this. <laughs> right, so the next note is... Dio! And then... Got to fight you, but let's just get healed up first. Although, ah... Uh, berry juice. Alright, let's go. So let's roll the die. A one, that's a one, that's a one! Fireball over your head! Ah, oh, am I all burnt now? Oh, that's gonna... Yep, I'm all burnt. That sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> oh, I hate burn. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch out, aren't I? Because I can't take you out in time. Let's go sell and go for Bubble Beam. I can't take the amount of ones I rolled in uh, Boulder's Gate 3. Just... Ah, uh, I didn't want to like save scum Boulder's Gate, but I, I kind of had to at some point. And my luck was just so bad, I never got what I wanted. Even with the little bonuses, I'd always just roll something really terrible. Uh, let's try a comet punch, because we get a bit, uh, get a bit more because of the ability, but still just not enough really. I'm gonna go for a supersonic. We'll definitely get healed up after this. If you want to hurt yourself, that would be great. Nice! I think if you hurt yourself one more time, we win. Hey, let's go! Woo, that was close. That was very close. Uh, I'm just going to go sell them off and just get one bubble beam off. That'll be good. Oh, you outspeed me. That sucks. Sucks. All right. Uh, I guess Gust it is. Ooh, Gust actually does a decent amount of damage. All right. So let's do this. There's a note. It says the fourth note is S O L. And the last one's gonna be here. R E. Can't rest in the bed. So let me go get healed up, and then we can go play the piano, get the dust skull to move, and then um, yeah, go take on the Jimmy the Witch. I'm now a little bit nervous about. I did think it was going to be super easy, especially after like last episode when we were just kind of destroying. Now I'm, yeah, now I'm thinking it's going to be hard. <laughs> oh, we'll have to wait and see. All right, here we go. Well, first piano. Let's put that in. Oh, wait, uh, I forgot what it was. Okay, I need to go back. So this is the first, oh, first note is F-A. Right. So it's... Nope, okay. F-A. Oh, I keep thinking it's that one, but it's not. There you go. So the Duskull's block and the corridor have disappeared. Hey, oh, it seems that a mere mortal has come to my quarters. You stand before Gundana, Queen of Shadows, Teamer of Darkness, rider of the Four Horses of the Apocalypse. Years ago, I was sent to hell for murdering over one, also 10,000 men in search of my parents' killer, Mewtwo. There I defeated the Demon King, regained my soul and returned to the world of the living to serve this gym. My family has always specialized in ghost types. I'll now teach you the power of my Necromonicon? Okay. We're gonna say necromancy, but okay. Oh, you're actually character sprite looks really cool. The music's interesting. <laughs> we'll just go for some uh, pursuits. Ooh, I don't know if this next one will finish you off. It's gonna be close. Come on. Nice, it did. So now we get level 15. Dust skull. I think I'm just gonna stay in. Just ki oh, critical hit! Nice! That is oh, of course you need the potion now. I, mean, I guess it's good to get the potions out of the way. There's a chance you might go for another one. Yep. And then 
and you're just gonna live this unless we get a crit. Please don't go for a third potion. Uh, let's go Salonaut. Bubble Beam. And Mistrigus is the last one, right? Ooh, that's um, that was a critical hit. I mean, the, that's actually kind of lucky for us. That's fine. Who can finish you off? I feel like the Villion should do some decent damage with the Gust. Okay, maybe not. There we go. A little bit tougher than I thought, but not too difficult at all. So you overcome darkness. Welcome to our side. You earn the title of Horseman of the Apocalypse. So I can sense the most incredible darkness inside you. It's absolutely terrifying. You deserve my respect. Accept this gift. We got the spirit badge. Ooh, I like the look of the badge. It's in honor of your victory, I, Queen of the Underworld, make you the bearer of this TM. Got Destiny Bond, nice. This TM contains Destiny Bond, an attack that drags your opponent along with you into the depths of infinity. Mwahahaha! It is a true power of a dark, true dark lord. If you want to continue on your way, go to a Techno Cave. It's east of the city. May the spirits be with you. Okay, sounds good. But first, let's get healed up. And then we'll make our way. Alright. Might buy a few supplies as well, just before we go in. Like a few repels, a few potions, just in case things get a little difficult. Also, let's check the map to see kind of where we'll be going. Uh, so we'll go to this, and then we go... Map. So I guess this is going to take us to Green Day Inn. The AE Industries got like a little area over here. Got Floyd Town. Alright, so yeah, let's make our way to Green Day Inn. Techno Cave sounds like it's going to be uh, very fun. So we know they're doing a party, but hey, you, me. Huh, I was waiting for you. I saw you walk out of the gym with a badge. That means two things. First, you're stronger than quite a few in the area. Second, and more importantly, you'll probably be carrying quite a bit of money. My name's Samira, and I'm uh, sorry to tell you that I don't come in peace. Let's cut to the chase. I'm in the red and no longer have the money to keep paying the people in my bar. Then, you know where this is going, don't you? Uh, what? Me, I've got your tongue? Anyways, uh, I guess we'll have to do this uh, by force. Come on, let's go. Don't have all day. So you want to rob me and take my money? Good luck. I love the music in this game. It's all from stuff, I'm not too sure on the references and everything, but... <laughs> it's, it's pretty badass. Like, I think someone said the Pokemon Center music is like the Flintstones, I need to listen to it again. Like, the only thing I remember from Flintstones is like... Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. From the town of Bedrock. Have a yabba dabba do time. Do, do, do. That's all I kind of remember. Like, I haven't watched the Flintstones in so long. I used to watch them as a kid. I kind of want to, like, I, I haven't watched it in such a long time as well, but I remember, it must be really bad, but the live action Flintstones movie, like, I have vague memories of it. But didn't they go to Vegas in, like, the modern day time or something? Like, did they get teleported or something? Oh, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, why not? We will go. Zora, and let me just pursue you. Oh, whoa! That looks sick! Okay. Not very effective. I don't know what type you are. Not liking the look of this, though, so I'm just gonna leer you a couple of times. Keep leering. <laughs> I ain't gonna get hit by a counter. I'm gonna put your defense down so much that hopefully a scratch can just, like, one shot you maybe? I don't think we'll one shot you to be fair, but if I can just like not die. Right, here we go, here we go. It's not bad then the counts gonna finish me off. We'll just go I, I think you're dark type? I'm gonna go for a fairy wind. A little bit of damage. But yeah, there's like no music playing right now, then um, yeah, copyright, but I can hear it, which is, I'm telling you, it's good. <laughs> Alright. What? Well, you're pretty strong. 
Anyway, I guess it's time to run! Next time I won't make it so easy for you. Oh, she stole all your money when she crashed into you. Oh, of course. Watch your pockets. All right, let's get healed up. Ah, so we can't get the money back. Also, I need to check, like... I think the way to the left just takes us back to where, um, where that party was being held in the house. Just gonna make sure like nothing happens there real quick. Just make sure this like leads to that one area. So we're just gonna have a little look just in case. This is where the stone walk is located. Some remains of the ruins of the ancient civilizations. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit bigger than I thought. Ooh. All right, so we need rock smash to go that way. Definitely glad I came over and checked though. So this is definitely not the way we want to go. But... Maybe we'll go for the cave next episode. I, I thought there was like, this was like a, a short route. Like I thought this would take us to... Yeah, here. I thought like we'll go from this house, go through the, the bit and then we'll be directly at the town. But yeah, we'll go explore this area first because this looks very interesting. Might get some stuff. Got a razor fang, sweet. Uh, ooh. Hi. We're exploring the stone walk, eh? All the casts and utensils in the area are the remains of the inhabitants of the area who lived here hundreds of years ago. Have you seen the statues with your mask masks? Funny, you can still see the links of Zeppelin City's ancestors to the ghost Pokemon. Okay. Maybe we can find like a new regional around here or something. Uh, hi. But well, we need Rock Smash though, we'll definitely have to come back. So wherever there are ruins, you'll find me! Alright, good to know. Got Fanfi, uh, yeah, we'll just Pursuit ya. Actually, I should just switch out, it'll be a lot easier. We'll look for Bubble Beam. So I wonder what level this, like, Salonaut's gonna evolve then. Maybe 18? Like, it could become, like, one of those, um... Like, starters like Pokemon Uranium, where it doesn't evolve to a level like 28 and it evolves like once and then get like a Mega Revolution. Could be something like that. I don't know. Can't do anything with the well. Uh. Gonna just. lead off with you for a little bit. Yo! These deep mountains uh, strengthen my vitality. Yeah, it's good to just see, um, lead off with. Solomon Rocks, they're all going to be like ground rock type around here, aren't they? All the ar archaeologists, hikers always have these sort of type of Pokemon which are easy to beat for us. And we got Thunder Wave. What if we become like a Water Electric? That'd be cool. Oh, we're finally evolving, so it is 18. Oh, whoa. Okay. Was not expecting this look. <laughs> it's a little suit. Honestly, I kind of like it, Lizaroid. Okay. Does it gain like a typing or something? So it's still water. The yellow makes me think it's gonna definitely become part electric with Thunder Wave. I don't know. As I, I kinda like this thing. I'm still very curious to see what the fire type's gonna look like. And, oh I, yeah, I remember coming from the other side, I think. Uh, so that's that bit and that's Did the area explored already. It's not too big. It was good just to look around just in case. We'll definitely have to come back here once we get Rock Smash. But I think it's a very great place to end this part off then. Next episode we'll go through Techno Cave and hopefully we can find that Samira and get our money back. That'd be nice. But yeah, next episode we're going through the cave and ended up probably the Green Day Inn and go a little bit further. Depends how long it takes us. I have no idea. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.